the format of being robot. Southern Television was the first known victim of television hijacking. On the 26th of November 1977, at around 5.10 p.m., an alien managed to interrupt the broadcast of the local ITV station Southern Television via the Honington transmitter. The voice overrode the UHF audio signal of the early evening news, being read by the late Andrew Gardner from ITN. The interruption ceased a minute after the statement had been delivered, with the transmission returning to normal after an episode of Looney Tunes or Merry Melodies. Below is the transcript of what this alien had to say. This is the voice of Rilan, the representative of the Astro Galactic Command speaking to you. For many years now you have seen us as lights in the skies. We speak to you now in peace and wisdom, as we have done to your brothers and sisters all over your planet Earth. We come to warn you of the destiny of your race and your worlds, so that you may communicate to your fellow beings the course you must take to avoid the disasters which threaten your worlds and the beings on our worlds around you. This is in order that you may share in the Great Awakening, as the planet passes into the New Age of Aquarius. A New Age can be a time of great peace and evolution for your race, but only if your rulers are made aware of the evil forces that can overshadow their judgments. Be still now and listen, for your chance may not come again. All your weapons of evil must be removed. The time for conflict is now past, and the race of which you are a part may proceed to the higher stages of its evolution, if you show yourselves worthy to do this. You have but a short time to learn to live together in peace and goodwill. Small groups all over the planet are learning this, and exist to pass on the light of the dawning new age to you all. You are free to accept or reject their teachings, but only those who learn to live in peace, will pass to the higher realms of spiritual evolution. Hear now, the voice of Rilan, the representative of the Astro Galactic Command speaking to you. Be aware also that there are many false prophets and bags operating on your world. They will suck your energy from you, the energy you call money, and will put it to evil ends giving you worthless dross in return. Your inner divine self will protect you from this. You must learn to be sensitive to the voice within that can tell you what is truth, and what is confusion, chaos, and untruth. Learn to listen to the voice of truth which is within you, and you will lead yourselves onto the path of evolution. This is our message to you, our dear friends. We have watched you growing for many years, as you two have watched our lights in your skies. You know that we are here, and that there are more beings on and around your Earth than your scientists admit. We are deeply concerned about you, and your path towards the light, and will do all we can to help you. Have no fears, seek only to know yourselves, and live in harmony with the ways of your planet Earth. We, of the Astro Galactic Command, thank you for your attention. We are now leaving the planes of your existence. May you be blessed by the supreme love and truth of the cosmos. Later in the evening, Andrew Gardner apologized for what he described as a breakthrough in sound for some viewers. After some modern research, the interruption was recorded on tape, and can be seen on YouTube and other video sharing websites. The broadcast message was considered to be a hoax by most sources, although some people, still question the explanation of a transmitter hijack. You see, to this day, Vrillin is still at large. And since only the UHF audio signal was hijacked, we never got to see his face. So there is still a possibility that Vrillin really was an alien and we ignored his request that we remove our weapons of evil. For more than 40 years, 